Så tack så Hej. Would you miss me if I disappeared? I have this perfect picture in my head of what we could be. So if you just follow my instructions, everything will be fine. Hi, my name is Jeanette Espadal. I am the writer, producer, and actress here in Erosion. And I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the film and so you guys could get to know me a little better. So Erosion went to Los Angeles and screened at the New Filmmakers Festival. And that was a lot of fun. I got to do an interview with Movie Makers Magazine. And they are actually sponsored by the Academy. It's it's really cool to be a part of it. You took us into this like mystical world. Like I didn't know where I was, what was going on, but it was like this, you know, just it just felt like from somewhere else. Did you, is that an atmosphere for you kind of wanting to create for us as well? Yes, I love the audience. I respect the audience. So mm -hmm. I wanna not tell everything. And it also went to Norway at this Amandus Open Festival. I always try to go to the festivals and be there myself and um, be with the audience when they see the film. It, it, it teaches me something every time and the whole experience of watching your film travel around the world is very special. The pancakes that you see, I actually made every single one. I think it was four months prior to the shoot because we were supposed to shoot, I think in December, but then it was postponed and uh, I had to wait until I think it was February and the pancakes were still in my fridge and, and they had gone bad. So that, that whole idea of the theme turning from this happy daylight theme into the mold and, and the, the bad situation is it was really something that we came up with on set with help from Christopher and that, that turned out to be the whole film basically, the metaphor for the whole relationship. Uh, the crying scene here was my first crying scene ever. I had no idea what was going to happen. I knew that the subject matter was very still raw in me. I was not at all in this state like two minutes prior to this scene. And the funny thing is that the whole atmosphere in the room when I was crying just f sort of fell down a few levels in, in tone of voice, in movement, and everyone was so careful and quiet and they really respected the situation. Uh, I really appreciate it because these scenes are very difficult. At least I think so. I mean, there are tricks you can use, but I try not to because I want to get the real emotion in there. But yeah, you notice the difference on different sets. Uh, everyone doesn't understand, I guess, what it's like to, to get into this. It's, very, it's a very weird situation. I need you to say goodbye to me. I want you to say goodbye to me. I need you to say goodbye. <laughs> Well, this was my first uh, film under the Janet Espinal Productions, I'm just and it was super scary, tired of fighting <laughs> but a lot of fun, and I learned so much. I got mm -hmm. such great talent to work alongside with me, and we had the brilliant photographer Andres Rignal, Swedish. I think he lifted the whole thing, just say, honey? many levels, <laughs> with help from Christopher. 
I really wrote it out of personal experience. And the fun part is that <laughs> this apartment is actually where I lived uh, at the time, which is the same thing with my second short film, uh, Pizza Boy, where I also shot in the apartment that I lived at the time. Just use what you got, you know? The situation was played out in this apartment, so to have it being filmed here is, you know, it made sense. If you would like to support me and my filmmaking, please visit the web shop on the website to purchase organic products where all the earnings will go towards my future productions. Thank you so much and remember to put it into your art. So if you just follow my instructions, everything will be fine.